Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn third rule of finding integrating factor to reduce rendered exact differential equations to exact differential equations. In my previous videos, we have seen rule 1 and rule 2 to find out integrating factor for the corresponding rendered exact differential equations. Links of those videos are given in the description box. So let us see what does this rule 3 says. This rule says that if a differential equation of the type y into f1 dx plus x into f2 dy is equal to 0, where f1 and f2 are functions of x and y is a non-exact differential equation and if mx minus ny is not equal to 0, then the integrating factor is given by 1 upon mx minus ny where m is this coefficient of dx and n is coefficient of dy. So in this case m is y into f1 xy where n is x into f2 xy. Now let me show you some real examples in which we are going to use this integrating factor. Here the question is to find the solution to the differential equation given by this. First of all, we'll check whether this given differential equation is exact or not. If it is not exact, then we will find out the corresponding integrating factor which will transform this non-exact differential equation to exact differential equation. So let us first compare this with mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 equation. So after comparison, we find m is equal to y into xy plus 2x square y square and n is equal to x into xy minus x square y square. Now let's find out what is dabba m by dabba y and dabba n by dabba x. Here dabba m by dabba y will be 2xy plus 6x square y square and dabba n by dabba x will be 2xy minus 3x square y square. You can pause the video and check this calculation. Now observe that these two expressions are not same therefore dabba m by dabba y is not equal to dabba n by dabba x. Therefore this given differential equation is not exact. To convert it into exact differential equation we have to find the corresponding integrating factor. To do so we first observe this differential equation. Note that this differential equation looks like y into f1 dx plus x into f2 dy is equal to 0. Therefore, we will find out integrating factor with rule number 3 which says integrating factor will be equal to 1 upon mx minus ny whenever mx minus ny is not equal to 0. So, let us first find out what is mx minus ny. Here is your m, multiply it with x and here is your n multiply it with y and subtract it from mx. We get mx minus ny is equal to x square y square plus 2x cube y cube minus x square y square plus x cube y cube. This plus x square y square will get cancelled with minus x square y square. 2x cube y cube plus x cube y cube will be equal to 3x cube y cube. Therefore, mx minus ny will not be equal to 0. Therefore, the corresponding integrating factor is given by 1 upon mx minus ny that is equal to 1 upon 3x cube y cube. Now, we multiply this differential equation with this integrating factor. So, let's do it. On multiplying the given differential equation with this integrating factor, we get a new differential equation which is y x y plus 2 x square y square upon 3 x cube y cube dx plus x into x y minus x square y square upon 3 x cube y cube dy is equal to 0. On comparing this with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we get our new m and n. This is the simplified version of this same differential equation. So when comparing with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we get m is equal to 1 upon 3x square y plus 2 upon 3x 
where n is equal to 1 upon 3xy square minus 1 upon 3y. Now we are all set to write solution to this exact differential equation. We know that solution to exact differential equation is given by the formula integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c. Here nu m is 1 upon 3x square y plus 2 upon 3x whereas we see there is only one term that is minus 1 by 3y which is free from x in n. So we will take it over here into dy is equal to c. Let's integrate this first term with respect to x. Since we are treating y constant, 1 by y will be constant. So taking it outside, we have 1 by 3y integration of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x plus 2 by 3 constant integration of 1 by x is log x minus 1 by 3 constant integration of 1 by y with respect to y is log y is equal to c. This is solution to the given differential equation. I hope you understood all the step involved in the solution. Now let me show you one more example of the similar type. Here the differential equation is given by y into xy sin xy plus cos xy dx plus x into xy sin xy minus cos xy dy is equal to 0. Once again this differential equation looks like m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Or rather you can say this looks like y into f1 dx plus x into f2 dy is equal to 0. Very first of all we will check whether this is exact differential equation or not. For that we will first compare it with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. We get m is equal to this expression and n is equal to this expression. Let's calculate derivative of m with respect to y keeping x constant that is daba m by daba y. Here it is equal to xy sin xy plus cos xy. Actually we are using u into v rule of differentiation. So differentiation of y is 1 keeping this term as it is plus second time keeping y as it is we are differentiating this with respect to y. So differentiation of this term will be x into sin xy plus xy into cos xy into x that is x square y cos xy plus cos xy's derivative is minus sin xy into x. So this is daba m by daba y. Similarly, daba n by daba x can be calculated. You can pause the video and check the calculation. Now note that since these two expressions are not same, we say daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x. So we draw a conclusion that the given differential equation is not an exact differential equation. Now, since this differential equation looks like y into f1 dx, plus x into f2 dy is equal to 0, we calculate value of mx minus ny. So substituting m and n here, we get mx minus ny is equal to yx into xy sin xy plus cos xy minus xy into xy sin xy minus cos xy. Let's open the bracket and simplify this. On simplifying this, we get mx minus ny is equal to 2xy into cos xy, which is not equal to 0. So according to the third rule of finding integrating factor, in this case, the corresponding integrating factor is 1 upon 2xy cos xy. Now, we will multiply the given differential equation with this integrating factor and we reduce it to or convert it to exact differential equation. So this is what we get when we multiply the given differential equation with this integrating factor. This looks like m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. This is the simplified form of this equation. Now on comparing it with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we get m is equal to 
1 by 2 y tan xy plus 1 by x and n is equal to 1 by 2 x tan xy minus 1 by y. Now we are all set to write solution to this exact differential equation. We know solution to the exact differential equation is given by the formula integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c. Let's substitute for m and terms in n free from x here. So this is our m. Substituting it over here, we get integration of this. And we see there is only one term in n which is free from x which is minus 1 by 2y into dy is equal to c. Now let's integrate this. 1 by 2 is constant, you can take it out. To find out integration of y tan xy plus 1 by x, we have to treat y constant. So if we take out this y, integration of tan xy is given by log of sec xy whole divided by y. Whereas integration of 1 by x is given by log x. Minus 1 by 2 is constant. You can take it out. Integration of 1 by y dy is log y is equal to integration constant c as it is. This is solution to the given differential equation. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now I have couple of example for yourself. I'm leaving it to do it yourself. This is third example. You can pause the video and note down this example. Similarly, this is fourth example. Please try to solve these examples and leave a comment in the comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. I hope you understood how to find out integrating factor with the help of this third rule of finding integrating factor. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.